we begin with big news expected today on the cost of living in this country. Gas prices hit another record high overnight, and that's part of why lots of other essentials like groceries are also more expensive. Is there any relief in sight? That is the question. New numbers out today are expected to show we may be turning the corner, but not fast enough for most Americans. Nancy Cordes is at the White House, where President Biden says tackling inflation is his top domestic priority. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nate. And President Biden is going to be heading to Illinois later this morning to talk with farmers about the very real impact that inflation and supply chain shortages are having on their ability to grow food. And the farmers we spoke to warned that we could see more empty store shelves in the coming months. I know the families all across America are hurting because of inflation. President Biden Tuesday called inflation the country's top economic challenge and pointed the finger at two causes. The first cause of inflation is a once in a century pandemic. A second cause, Mr. Putin's war in Ukraine. And U.S. farmers are bearing the brunt, facing higher prices for fertilizer, seeds, and diesel fuel. So you're looking over uh, 550 plus or so $60 a uh, just to fill up one time in my tractor. John Boyd is a fourth generation soybean and cattle farmer in Virginia. He says his upfront costs have roughly doubled in one year. We weren't able to pay for seeds, so the struggle is real. And, uh, and the struggle is going to be real for the American people in the coming months as it relates to food. Krista Swanson, who grows corn and soybeans in Illinois, worries what will happen to those who can't cover the new costs. Farming is, a, you know, a passion and it's a way of life, but it also is a livelihood. And so, you know, you, you have to be able to make some money to, to stay in it. On Capitol Hill, Republicans argued the White House hasn't done enough to help struggling Americans. President Biden's mismanagement of the economy and inflation has really trapped Americans in an inflation nightmare. Mr. Biden argued the GOP is serving up blame, but no solutions. Now what's the congressional Republican plan? They don't want to solve inflation by lowering your costs. They want to solve it by raising your taxes and lowering your income. President Biden said yesterday he is considering releasing President Trump's tariffs on Chinese goods in order to try to bring down the cost of goods here in the U.S. And this morning, all eyes are going to be on the monthly consumer price index report. Economists looking for any sign, Gail, that inflation has peaked. Everybody hopes it has. Thank you very much, Nancy.